Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on factoring using something called the grouping method. So the first uh, page you're going to follow along with me and take some notes. And then on the second page, there's going to be some problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So, so far you've learned about different methods of factoring. Uh, this one's a little bit different than all the other ones. Uh, but take a look at this first expression here. We have 3 times x plus y plus z times x plus y. And I want to know what times what will give us this expression. All right. Well, if you notice, both the x and y here and also the x and y here are being multiplied by both the 3 and also the z. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as we can put in an x plus y in one parentheses. And because we're multiplying both the 3 and the z by an x plus y, well, we can put a 3 plus a z in this parentheses. And there it is. So 3 plus z times x plus y uh, would be the answer for this one. All right. Now, down here, number 2, I actually have the exact same expression as up here. Okay, they're equivalent, but it looks different. So what you do is when you have something like this, you gotta look at the, the terms and say, all right, with these two terms, can I factor out a common factor? And then with these two terms, can I factor out a common factor? So we're gonna break this really into two groups. We're gonna talk about this group here, and then this group here, all right? So for the first uh, two, I can factor out a common factor of a three, right? So that's gonna be a three times an x plus y. All right, now over here, I could factor out a common factor of a z. So that's gonna be a z times an x plus y. Now if you notice, this right here is the exact same as the problem up here, okay? Where we have three times x plus y plus z times x plus y. So I can now put them together and it's gonna be three plus z times x plus y and there it is okay so again this method is called factor by grouping for so for this problem we grouped these two terms together and factored out a three right and then we, we grouped these two terms together and factored out a z right and then we we're able to multiply both the x and y by the three plus the z all right now example example number three is actually equivalent to these other two but this one's a little more uh, complicated because if you notice now, we have 3x plus uh, zy, okay? And there's nothing here that I can factor out, right? There, there's no common terms. Um, here, we have 3y plus zx. Now, because we're all we're doing is adding the terms together, what we can do is we can rearrange the terms, okay? So I'm going to try to rearrange the terms so we can factor something out. So I notice this term has a 3, and this term has a 3. So I'm going to rewrite this now as... 3x plus 3y and now here we have a zy and then a zx right so I noticed that they also have a common term of a z so that's a good sign so I'm gonna write plus zy plus zx and now I can break these into groups and I'm gonna factor out a 3 so it'll be 3 times x plus y plus and here I can factor out a z so z times, we can write it as, write it as uh, x plus y. And now this again is the same as this, which is the same as the top one, right? So our answer is gonna be three plus z times x plus y, okay? Now where this one is a little more uh, difficult is we had to rearrange the order of some of the terms, right, okay? And sometimes you have to kind of guess and check uh, but eventually the goal is to be able to factor out something that you, you can use, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with these practice problems, okay? So here we have x times y minus z plus three times y minus z. And notice inside the parentheses, we have the same terms, the y minus z. So that's what we want, right? So we can just rewrite this now as just x plus three times y minus z. And there it is, okay? 
This one down here is pretty easy too because we have x plus 1 in parentheses. So we're multiplying both the p and the negative r by the x plus 1. So it's going to be p minus r times x plus 1. And there it is. Okay. Now for this one down here, we have 4a plus cb plus 4b plus ca. Okay. So I need to rearrange these so we can try to pull out some common factors. So again, I noticed that we have a 4 here and a 4 here. So I'm going to put those side by side. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4a plus 4b plus, now we have cb plus ca. Okay. Now here's a really key thing to look for. Okay. After you rearrange the terms, notice how we have an a and a b and then also an a and a b. Okay. That's a sign that you're doing this the right way. Because now when I factor out a 4 from the first two, it's going to be 4 times a plus b. Okay. Plus, now I can factor out a c. So c times, and then that'll be also an a plus a b. And now we can re rewrite it as 4 plus c times a plus b. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?